Hey everybody, it's Chad with nobody else's auto. Out on the road again, stopped by and saw a friend of mine and checked out his old salvage yard. We're always out looking, you know, other yards, swap meets, auctions, things like that. Always looking for inventory to help you guys out with your projects. So, a little bit windy today. We just got the truck unloaded from this later, latest trek, latest adventure, and got everything sorted out, make sure I had it all marked. You know, sometimes when you're busy pulling parts, sometimes you miss some things, so got it all sorted out. Make sure I got it marked so we can get it put away until we have time to get it cleaned up and processed. So let's take a quick look at what came home on this latest adventure. Now I somewhat have stuff kind of sorted by make. We've got Ford, Chrysler, and GM all sorted out here, laid out here on the ground to check it out. This first batch right here, Ford stuff, we'll start with that and kind of work our way around. Side moldings off a 67 Ford full-size wagon. It's kind of some hard to find stuff. Also out of that wagon, this is really unique here. This is an underdash air unit out of a full-size 67 Ford. So this mounted under the dash. It's a factory Ford piece. So apparently was dealer add-on air that was not factory installed in the dash, but added later on at the dealership. Some more pieces off that 67 wagon as well, some other trim pieces. There's a 64 XL sitting there, had some pieces laying inside of it, grabbed a few loose pieces out of it. There wasn't much left of that old car though, unfortunately. 57 Ford F250 hood emblems. 70 Mustang coupe back window moldings. Falcon wagon tailgate. Now the tailgate is rusty, but all the guts were there. So we went ahead and loaded it up. We'll take that thing apart and get all the pieces out of it for those guys with Falcon wagons. 78 Fairmont two door, the back window moldings and one headlight bezel. Here's some good pieces. 64 Ford pickup custom cab exterior stainless windshield moldings. And of course, we can't forget about our 70s Ford pickup, some side moldings and a left door for the 73 to 79s. You know, we're big fans of those around here. So a decent batch of Ford stuff. Got more GM than anything, but still ended up with a decent batch of Ford stuff. How about a little bit of Mopar? Didn't find much Mopar. A few 70s full-size car pieces and some 63 or 4 era Plymouth two-door sedan pieces. A little bit of trim off of that and a dash cluster for a 70s era Mopar. So got a little bit more research to do on some of that stuff. Don't really know much about it, but uh, looked like some interesting stuff. How about into the GM? We got a lot of GM stuff to check out. So we'll just start right here. 68 Impala, two-door hardtop, formal roof. Not a fastback roof, two-door hardtop with a formal roof. Factory vinyl top moldings, as well as quarter and door moldings off of that 68 Impala two-door hardtop. 67 Buick Special four-door side moldings. Now this trim here, kind of interesting. Not something you see every day, but people are starting to fix some of these cars, especially if they're clean originals. 69 Chevelle four-door vinyl top and back window moldings. Aluminum insert for 61 Chevy pickup grill. 70 Olds headlight bezels and some 6998 parts. One tail light quarter extensions and I love these side marker lights that Oldsmobile used in 68 and 69 where the actual side marker was a rocket. I always thought Oldsmobile did a great job with those. Some skirts, a good solid pair of 70 electric skirts, a single for a 74 Cadillac. That's one thing about going through some of these old salvage yards. Sometimes there's pairs, sometimes there's not, but if it's a decent piece, sometimes you need to grab it and save it. 74 Chevelle two door, back window moldings, vinyl top moldings, left tail light. Some Hearst tops, one of these does have a crack in it. These were laying loose, not sure what they originally came off of, but they were too cool to leave laying there, going to waste. 74 Firebirds, vinyl top moldings and a tail light. 66 El Camino roof moldings. 
Now here's an interesting piece. Normally I wouldn't mess with something like this, but this car was sitting there. All the interior was gutted out of it. All the glass was out of it. And it's got some rust in the skin. But this roof clip for a 77 Monte Carlo is a factory sunroof clip. So obviously we see the roof skin itself is pretty much toast, but all of the structure for that sunroof is still under there. So like I said, normally wouldn't mess with something like this, but since this car happened to already have all the interior out of it, all the glass out of it, it was very easy to get in there and grab this roof clip. Not something that you see very often, but if you wanted to add one to a car, I don't know where you would ever find one. So since this one was accessible, I figured I'd go ahead and grab it. And some more Chevrolet stuff, 1966 Caprice two-door hardtop. Several pieces of trim off of this. The inside back window moldings. The roof rail moldings that run along the inside of the headliner. The interior windshield moldings. The rear vinyl top moldings. The A-pillar trim. These moldings actually went exterior between the windshield molding and the drip rail molding on a 66 Caprice. And these rear panels were in there as well, so I went ahead and grabbed those because they also have the moldings on them. 70 Impala Tudor hardtop rear filler panel. The painted panel between the trunk lid and the back window. Some 64 Biscayne four-door side moldings. Several pieces of 60 Chevrolet four-door side moldings, some Impala, some Bel Air. And we got a pretty decent selection of full-size 1973 Chevy parts. Caprice and Impala two-door hardtop. This was, comes from a couple of different cars. We got some of the corner pieces for the vinyl top, tail light lenses, some of the rear filler panels, some of the side moldings, Caprice trunk molding, Caprice side moldings for a two-door hardtop. Not something you come across every day for a 73. The Caprice even had a couple of original hubcaps in it, so went ahead and grabbed those kind of different being Caprice parts, as well as even found a few front wheel opening moldings. They need a little work, but they're not destroyed, and those are tough to find pieces as well. So a pretty wide selection, found a lot of cool stuff, definitely some stuff that are gonna help out with some other projects and help save some of these other old vehicles that are still out there. Well, there you have it. Another fresh load of inventory just recently came in. A lot of cool stuff. And what a lot of people always say, you know, do you have this car, do you have that car? Well, I may not always have that car, but that doesn't mean I don't have pieces for it. That's why it's so critical when you call me or anybody else that deals in old parts to be very specific about why you're calling and what you're after. So I have people all the time call me and say, do you have such and such car? And I say, no, and they say, okay, thanks and hang up. That doesn't mean I haven't stripped parts off of five of them and have a ton of parts for them. So that's why it's so critical to be clear when you call me or anybody else that messes with this stuff. So. But anyway, another quick glimpse at some more cool new inventory. If there's anything you can use out of this or anything else off the other 2,000 cars and trucks we have here in stock at nobody else's auto, just give me a call. 620-786-4428. That number is in the description part of this video as well. And you like old cars, you like old trucks, be sure to check out the channel, Nobody Show. It's about all we do on here because that's really about all I know what to talk about. But we have a lot of fun doing it. We enjoy it. We find a lot of cool stuff. We share a lot of new inventory with you. We do a lot of other salvage yards, swap meets, auctions, things like that. So be sure to check out the channel. Definitely click that subscribe button and check out some of the other, other videos. You also don't want to miss any of the live stuff we do on here. We have a lot of fun with our lives. You want to be on for some of those as well. So hope you enjoyed checking out the new inventory. Stay tuned. We've got a lot more cool stuff coming up. I have had a ton of cars and trucks hitting the ground lately. So we have a ton of cool new inventory coming up. You don't want to miss any of that as either. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. We've got a lot more cool stuff coming up on the next ones.